Cooper, can you tell me what happened between last week's episode and this week's episode? Are you trying to tell on him? Look at this, guys. So you all know we just went to the store in last week's episode. We got this pumpkin, and look what happened. And if you notice, there are little pieces of it all over the house. What happened to it, Coop? You decided to tear it apart? We're planning on making a Living with a Golden Retriever part two. So that video blew up. It did really, really well. You guys loved it. And a lot of people were like, no, there's no way that's actually what it's like. I swear every single thing and that's true and there's still a bunch of other like weird little things that he does. So one of the things is every single night before bed, he knows it's bedtime because Coda gets kindled up in his kennel and then we go upstairs. Coda doesn't go upstairs, otherwise he could sleep with us if he wanted but he refuses to go up the stairs. So we go upstairs and Cooper knows what's happening and he always picks out a toy and brings it up with him and then in the morning he brings it back down and it's not always the same toy. But almost every he, night this week. He will literally, if I'm already upstairs and Trevor tells Coda to cuddle up, he will run downstairs to get the toy. Yes. And if the toy he wants is not accessible, it's like Meltdown City. Every single night he chooses a toy. I would say probably like five nights this week it's been that. And then a couple other nights it was a selfie stick. The ghost was under my arm and he was in my face like... <laughs> Like, this is not how I want to wake up in the morning. <laughs> You're so silly, buddy. All right, anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday. Woo! Coda. What? Why? Did he eat it? And the amount of time that I was talking on here, he just... Unbelievable. So maybe you're the guy that's been doing that. I thought it was Cooper, but I think we just caught you on camera. Anyway, guys, we are back for another episode this week, and uh, I'm kind of sad because as of tomorrow, we're going to be leaving these boys for uh, five days or so. We're not going to see them for five days, so we love you guys. My mom's going to take fantastic care of you. You guys are going to be spoiled and given so many treats and overfed and stuff like that. Mom, I know you're watching this. I know you always overfeed them. I know it. I know you do. But um, anyway, today, you guys know what's going down. We are going to be checking out this Sphero Lightning McQueen remote control toy. So we did an episode like this last year sometime with the BB-8 toy. If you guys haven't seen that, I'm going to link it down in the description. It was hilarious. We're going to be doing it again today, except this time we have a way better RC vehicle thingy. Why is this thing wet? What it? Coda did it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you look later, you'll see it behind you. <laughs> Okay, thanks, thanks, Coda. It, it checks out. Is it a secure package? It's, it's okay to be in the house. He has to check everything out. But anyway, yeah, so with this today, we are gonna be chasing these guys around, scaring them, messing with them, putting treats on it, and trying to run from them. It's gonna be a good time, so uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. Are you ready? Do you wanna sniff it? Coop, do you wanna sniff it? All right, here we go. We're gonna open this thing up. Oh my goodness. He actually seems pretty excited. He's got his tail going he like it's definitely of, something he'll like. I'm not interested though. Oh, there we go. Whoa, this is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. That display thing is pretty cool. Look at this, Coda. It's Lightning McQueen. Oh my gosh, this thing is actually pretty sick. The BB-8 toy I haven't touched since. This thing, I actually think I want to have some fun with. All right, so we've got that open. How do we get this part open over here? Oh, it's got like a little, a little drawer. Fancy. Okay, boom, there we go. So we've got a Lightning McQueen service manual. That's, That's funny. And then here's, oh, oh. I didn't Awkward. think about this part. Ooh. Probably should have opened this thing up and charged it beforehand. Where's it plug in at? So we couldn't figure out where to put the battery in. I just looked it up in the manual. This is actually super sick. Look at this. The gas cap. No way. How That's cool so is that? so smart. Okay, so we're going to plug this thing in. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to charge. And we'll check back with you guys. Just come here. Okay. Look at this. When you plug him in, his headlights come on. And well, his that's because he. Wait, turn it back around. Oh, 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 hold yeah. on. We gotta take his little. What's up? Oh, they uh, move. That's so crazy. That's actually like a little screen. His wheels are moving too. I think his mouth moved too. I, I'm not sure. Okay. 
Okay, the eyes freak me out. That is so freaking cool. Oh my god, he's moving around. No way. That is so cool. Look at him looking at you. Hey, don't you dare try to take my girl. He just talked and Coda peered around the corner and he was he was staring at it with his, his ears lifted. He was hunched over staring at this thing for a very long time. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna see if we can uh, Where are we talk again? I don't know. He was like, next up it's Lightning McQueen. Look at Coda. He's watching it move. He's talking again. Every time he talks, we can't find Cooper. I've been looking all over the house. Why are you in there? Why are you in there? We did not put him in there and we did not know that he was in there. I, come here. Cooper, come. <laughs> all right, guys, so I'm pretty sure he's pretty much charged up. What's really funny is every time you touch him, he'll say something, so like, you want to drive? Yeah, I want to drive. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right, here we go. So you guys ready for this? This is our connect button. We're starting the engines in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh my gosh, Cody, are you ready? Cooper, where are you at? <laughs> you look so innocent. Cooper, where are you at? What are you doing? Are you ready? Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna press start. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's get it. Okay guys, so we're gonna take him off of his charger. Hey, where are you going? This is your control here. You gotta set the, the forward button, and then there's your joystick. Reverse, donuts, and speed boost, I think. Okay. So here we go. Contacts. Chelsea told me we were waiting for her contacts. Those are yours. Oh! Nope. What? Need a kiss while you open the mail. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna open this up here with you guys. This is not a planned part of the episode, but... Okay. I'm just as curious as you are. It's a, it's a box in a box. Okay. I'm gonna open this up. Notice how this is the, the thorough security check. <laughs> Every single package, piece of clothing, anything that comes into this house. Human. It gets checked. Oh, I know what this is. Okay. Yeah. I had the, uh, they were sending me, I'm not gonna pull out of the box. It's a new racing wheel for my racing setup. For those of you guys that watch the gaming stuff. Anyway, back to Lightning McQueen. Hey, actually, they sent me a racing wheel and a Lightning That McQueen. was kind of ironic. That's weird. You said where? Oh I don't know gosh. If you guys can see it, but Coda got scared all the way over here. Coda did a little burnout yeah. all the way around the corner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you can see it very clearly here in the corner of the cardboard. And then, so he had little dribble spots all the way. And then there where he's. It's like when he stopped, he just succumbed to it. <laughs> it's like, well, this is my life now. All right, so the pee is all cleaned up. Great job, girl. I was chasing the boys around with it still. And uh, now we're putting some treats on there. So look at these good boys. They both deserve a treat, don't they? Well, you guys are gonna have to earn it. You're gonna have to get it off the car. We'll see if you're brave enough. <laughs> a little one on the very back. <laughs> so funny. Are you gonna do multiple? Oh, one on the back, one on the top, one on the hood? 
Yeah, that way if one falls out, we're not stuck. Okay, I like it. We'll see how this goes. I think they like it better this way. All right, here we go. Sit, sit, stay. Okay, everybody. Here we go. So two of them are loose. The hey, seat. buddy, are you ready to get this race started? Rude. <laughs> Two of them are probably going to end up falling off. The other one is not going to come off. They're going to have to work for it. So uh, here we go, boys. Get it, Kota. It's on the car. You got to get it. Oh, oh. oh. Tables <laughs> Cooper's just running around. Oh, they both fall off. No, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh cool. Oh, one fell off. Good boy, Coda. Good boy. Where's the cookie? <laughs> he just doesn't know what to think about this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Koopy, what is it? Cooper, get it. Get it, get it, get it, Coop, get it. Get it, Coop, get it. Oh, look out! Get it. He doesn't even know. <laughs> get it. Cooper, get it. literally hitting it with his tail. Okay, so we're trying our hardest here and we just can't get him to love it. I'm honestly really, really surprised that he's not loving this thing. You guys know he loved to chase the BB-8 toy around. He was chasing it around a little bit earlier, but we ended up dropping the camera because Coda ran into us and we lost that footage. So we're gonna try, if, if normal RC cars don't work and treats don't work, I know one thing that will work and that's a ball. So we were gonna try a tennis ball, I think this might be a little bit big. Plus, his favorite thing in the world are ping pong balls. Which and he's he, not supposed to have them. He knows they're not supposed to have them. So when we're playing adult games at home and somebody misses, he's chasing that thing all over everywhere. So I think that if we put an illegal toy on the car, I think he's gonna be very, very excited about this. Coop, come here. Watch this. Here. You see this? Oh, it's your favorite, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, we're gonna put this on the car and we're gonna see if that piques your interest a little bit. Get a coop. Come here, Coopy, get the ball. Look, get it. Get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball, get it. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Go, fetch. Go, Go. get it. Get the ball. <laughs> oh. <laughs> get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> You get that ball. You tell him. You tell him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell him. <laughs> Whoa, look out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. He got it again. He's figured out the tape. Oh, man. Are you a good boy? I'm honestly really surprised that he didn't love that more. I was expecting Cooper to really get it. I knew you were gonna be scared. I knew it. I knew it. Yes, I did. You're a good boy too. Oh, oh yes. That's it. Gotta give you a hug for the after the episode. He's like, Dad, don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, hope you all enjoyed. I thought that was really fun. I wish Cooper would have been more into it, but we got plenty of scares out of Coda. We even got a pea scare. Another pea scare. What is that? That was a big a one. Serious. I feel like we have like four or five of those now. Oh yeah, it's at least four. We might have to make a peace scare code like episode. You That's I mean? embarrassing. Like I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Chels for being a fantastic camera woman and a pee cleaner upper. She's the best. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know what you guys want to see in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you guys next week. Peace out.